Hey, Bob WP here. Join us and listen in on some great WordCamp US attendees as they share their experiences here on Do The Woo. Today we actually have a couple shows coming out with a bit more WordCamp US goodness. This one is short and sweet with reflections from Matt Medeiros, Seth Goldstein, Shambi Broom, Bud Krause, Jeremy Fremont, Mike Demo, Patrick Rollin, and Katie Keith. And later today you will hear a deep dive into the event from a panel of WordPressers who also attended WordCamp US. But for now... Let's listen to our friends. Hey, Bob, it's Matt from Gravity Forms and the WP Minute. My biggest takeaway from WordCamp US 2023 is it's just amazing to be back in person, seeing all my friends, seeing all my colleagues for the first time in many years. Uh, there was definitely a sense of new energy in the room. Um, obviously, for the last few years from folks being totally remote and not having a lot of uh, in-person time, at least here in the States. Uh, there's a new sense of that WordPress excitement that I like, especially with WordPress 6.3, 6.4 around the corner, new themes, uh, new iterations to Gutenberg, full site editing. I think we're going to start riding the roller coaster back up again, and things are going to get a lot more exciting for WordPress over the next year to five years as we see it evolve. That's my takeaway from WordCamp US. Hey, Mr. Wu, Bob WP, how's it going? It is Seth from Philadelphia. Um, great seeing you at WordCamp US in the National Harbor down in Maryland, just outside DC. I wish it was actually in DC, but that's despite the point. Um, my biggest takeaway was how WordPress and Woo and all that are growing with the overall web and how they're doing their best not to be left behind and being a legacy product. We are 43% of the web right now. The website's online is WordPress. So that was a big takeaway for me. Another big takeaway for me was that, man, that sponsor hall was far away. But overall, it was such a great event. It was great seeing everyone. It was great seeing you, Bob. And um, hopefully you had a safe trip back to Portugal. And I can't wait to see you next time. Be well. Hi, I'm Shambi Broom with Web Girls Code in Columbia, South Carolina. And this was my first WordCamp, and I was a first-time speaker at WordCamp. And it was an amazing experience. First of all, shout out to the organizers and volunteers. Made the experience completely amazing. My biggest takeaways would be, one, Definitely look at the schedule and plan out your schedule ahead of time. Um, that really helped me. And I really appreciated there were so many sessions that were more about community and diversity. I was more interested in that necess than necessarily the tech talks and sessions. So I really appreciated that. I would say pace yourself. It can be overwhelming. Got a little bit overwhelmed after day one and had to take a break for most of the day, the second day, but definitely schedule out the sessions you want to go to in advance, pace yourself and network. I mean, the amazing people that you'll meet at lunch, sit with different people at lunchtime and just really take an opportunity to network after hours if possible. Can't wait for 2024. Hi, everybody. This is Bud Krause. And I just want to say two things, actually, about WordCamp US. One is that I enjoyed the community summit better. <laughs> Maybe I'm not supposed to say that, but I just did. Because it was smaller and more intimate, and we could have discussions about the WordPress community that were really interesting. And the second thing is, well, I got asked by three different people what my age is. So I'm not sure why, because a year ago, when I was a year younger, no one asked me. So maybe I've aged a lot in that one year. Who knows? But anyway, it really was a great experience. Although I must say, I've been to three work camps this summer, WordCamp Europe, WordCamp Montclair in New Jersey, and then WordCamp US. And I probably had my fill of work camps for a while. However, at the end, during the after party, I know it's called social. Uh, there were the beginnings of what I hope will be a WordCamp New York City, 
2025. Stay tuned for that one. Hello, hello, hello. Jeremy Fremont here with Multidots, a leading WordPress development agency. My favorite thing about WordCamp US this year, 2023, was the same thing that's my favorite every single year, and that is the community. The WordPress community is absolutely amazing. It's vibrant. It's inviting. It's educational. It doesn't matter if you're brand new to the WordPress scene. You're going to be able to go in and have conversations with people who are going to be open R, be able to help share that knowledge with you. Also, for me, who's been seasoned in the industry for many years, over 15, it's something that when you come together in these WordPress events, WordCamps specifically, it feels like a family reunion. So you have a chance to be able to meet and greet with old friends and colleagues, maybe people that you work directly with in a remote setting. And you have an opportunity to be able to rub shoulders, sit down, have meals, have more in-depth conversations. I'd say the cherry on top this year was the setting, the location. So it happened to be in National Harbor, Maryland, and it was hosted at the Gaylord Resort. And the Gaylord Resort, I just felt it was super conducive to be able to be able to find a quiet spot to be able to go and have those more in-depth conversations or discussions with the folks who are attending the event. So I'd highly recommend any other future WordCamps, the Gaylord Resorts, um, were spot on because they're also very inspirational. Um, the location of where it was, uh, I also just loved because one morning I ended up going out uh, with a friend at the event and getting on the water and doing some kayaking. So all the way around, fantastic. Also some great takeaways as always from some of the sessions. I really enjoyed being able to hear you know, more of the public sector come into the picture. Uh, it was great. Uh, the initial keynote talk about NASA and the web modernization elements there. Uh, really fun just to be able to see that piece of the WordPress community continuing to expand in a fashion as it is. Signing off, Jeremy Fremont. A highlight of WordCamp US 2023 in National Harbor was the Pride Party on Friday night. It was so great to see hundreds of allies and LGBTQIA plus members of our community come together in a safe environment and just have a fun time. Uh, we spent a lot of time on the organizing team, making sure that it would be the best possible. And I think we succeeded in that regard. Uh, the views on the roof were beautiful. And what better way to start it out than to have a rainbow actually um, be visible in the, the distance. So uh, I am so proud of the work that our team did and thankful to the sponsors and volunteers and everyone um, and all everyone at attended. So that would probably be my highlight of working at US. Hey, Bob, Patrick Rolland here from speakinginbytes.com. I wanted to give the organizers of WordCamp US some kudos. Uh, they did something that's very hard for an organizer to do, which is finding a speaker that can inspire the audience. And I know this because I've helped uh, WordCamp Denver, Wukon, Fusesh, and many, many conferences, both online and in person, find and select speakers. And the opening keynote on Saturday was Ken Liu. I'm hoping I pronounced that I'm, that I'm pronouncing that right. And he was incredible. His talk spoke to me on a deep, soulful level, and it, it, it moved me. And I, I wanted to share my top takeaway from his talk. Um, and this probably won't make sense without all the context preceding. This is sort of near the... The, the, the end of his talk. It probably won't make 100% sense, but I, I still really want to share this because I think it's powerful. Your enthusiasm is a better guide to what your mission is than almost anything else. Find a thing you wish to play at and pursue that. Then find a way to sell it. It's much easier than finding what people will pay for and try to love making that. So yeah, for people listening to me right now, that, that talk was so good and it, it's, it, it's hard to articulate why, but it gets into your motivations and what, what, what does it mean to be a human? And as soon as this talk comes out on wordpress.tv, I strongly recommend you just sit down, watch it and um, reflect on it. And I did want to share one other takeaway. I'm currently looking for a job and several WordPressers, and they probably know who they are if they're listening to this, went out of their way to introduce me to people who are hiring. And I think that's incredibly kind and generous of them. So I'm 
thankful to be in such a generous, kind community. And I, I think it's a, it's also um, a community where we, it's, it's like a, we have a growth mindset. Like me getting a job doesn't mean that someone else won't get the job. Like there's, there's a lot more work and we can all make money. And what is it? A, a rising tide lifts all boats. So I just wanted to be thankful to be such a kind and generous community. And it was nice to, it was so good to see the whole WordPress world. So that, those are my top two takeaways from WordCamp US 2023. Hi, I'm Katie Keith from Bantu Plugins and I'm from the UK, although I live on the Spanish island of Mallorca. I got so much out of attending WordCamp US this year. I currently have two Bantu team members who live in America, my web developer and my designer, And this was the only chance this year for me to meet them in person. We went on a boat trip at the River Potomac and had dinner at a restaurant, and it was lovely getting to know them better. At WordCamp itself, I spent the entire time in the hallway track, which I renamed the cafe track because I spent so much time chatting with people in the cafe. As well as catching up with people I had met before, I met lots of people who I had previously only met online. This included people who I had been collaborating with on certain projects, so meeting them in person helped to strengthen our work together. But of course it wasn't all work. I really enjoyed spending time exploring Washington DC with my WordPress friends. We hired electric scooters to see the main sites and even went to the zoo. So both personally and professionally, WordCamp US was definitely worth the trip. Hey, Bob WP, and I certainly appreciate these WordPressers taking the time to chime in on the show. And if you want to make sure and not miss an opportunity like this, not just WordCamp-centric, but giving feedback on Woo and WordPress topics, follow us on Twitter at DoTheWoo or ping me somewhere and request that you join our Do the Woo Slack channel. The latter is actually the best way not to miss an opportunity to be on Do The Woo. So until later today, keep on doing the woo.